Hey guys and welcome to Ease Co. Brewing. It is brew night and we are back to do another brew. Tonight we are brewing the Cooper's Lager in my new Cooper's DIY beer kit. So this is the kit, the actual beer ingredients that came with my brand new Cooper's DIY kit. So we're gonna take her for a test run tonight and brew up some beer. So um, two important things. One, sanitization. I've sanitized all my equipment so it's ready to go. And two, you gotta have a home brew. Man, that is good. Awesome. So as per instructions, we are gonna mix up our dry ingredients first in our fermenter. Now this is the Brew Enhancer 1 that came with the uh, kit and what's in here uh, what's to say it says for a creamier head with enhanced body and mouth feel so what's in here is basically dextrose which is going to help produce uh, alcohol and multidextrin which will help with that creamier head and enhanced body and mouth feel so we're going to get that put in here um, cool thing if you haven't checked out my unboxing video of this kit I go through everything you get with this kit and some of the features with it. But this thing is so cool. It's got this crows and collar that basically for the first three days when you're fermenting, um, all the all the crows and gets on the collar and then you just take it out and wash it and basically you put the lid back on and you leave you you ferment with the rest of the uh, the process without the crows and collar. But this acts just like an airlock. It just burps the CO2 out, not letting any oxygen in. How cool is that? All right. We'll put that aside for a minute. All right, let's get our dry ingredients put together. So you're supposed to boil up two liters of water. So I've got that on the stove right now. We'll just get our dry ingredients put into, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that hot water and put a little bit in to start it off because that way this won't stick to the bottom as easily. Hold on. All right, this is super hot, so we wanna be careful. Just gonna put a little bit in. There we go. And then we'll put the rest in after we put the brew enhancer in. So let's go ahead and do that. Sanitize scissors. I've got a little helper down beside me. I've got a, a black lab crossed with a border collie and she's, uh, she's still a pup. She's only about five months old. So she's into everything, including my brewing equipment. So you gotta be careful. All right, we got that in there. A little bit left. It's brew night. It's brew night. Man, I love brewing beer. Making your own beer is it's awesome. You have to check out some of my other videos because what I'm getting into now with some of my brews is doing more boils with. Uh, uh, Pops in it, and different different additional ingredients. This one here is just going to be a straight up brew that came with the, the kit. So we're not going to be adding anything to this other than what the kit recommends. So we're going to give this a little stir, get this uh, brew enhancer. Oh, hey, one other thing always make sure your spigot is closed before you get going because that could be a disaster. Some of this is clumping up a little bit, so let's get a good stir on that. So next what we're going to do is we're going to open up our can of pre-hopped malt extract. Put this aside here. Right here. And what I've done is I actually put this in the sink in a bunch of hot water to soften it up. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and then we'll get it put in. Okay, we have this opened up and ready to go. So we're gonna pour this in, just like that. 
Oh, no, but this one's cool. All right, we'll get this out of here. The spatula works really good to get a lot of this out, but a little trick that I like to use and most people know about is you boil up some, uh, some hot water in a kettle, which I've done. I'm just going to set this in here because it is full of crazy sticky stuff here. Well, maybe not. It's not going to sit in there, so that's okay. We'll put it down here for now. Move our hydrometer. Losing bits and pieces all over the place here. Okay, so we're going to pour a little bit of this hot water in. Or a lot, I guess. And this is going to help get the rest of this out. Because there's actually quite a bit still in here, even after you pour it in. A lot of it sticks to the sides. So, out of our way. All right, just lightly stir this here. Getting it all out. Then you want to make sure you got some oven mitts handy. There we go. Got some oven mitts handy. And that smells good. I've never tried this Cooper's uh, Lager, but uh, I've heard good things about it. I've seen a few reviews on it, and it's, it seems to get some pretty good reviews, so that's good. All right, let's go ahead and get this into the fermenter. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. Put that to the side. And then the next thing we do is we're gonna mix this up a little bit. But all you do is start adding cold water up to the 23 liter mark. Well, they say 20 liter mark, and then check your temperature. There's a temperature gauge on the side here, which is really cool to come to it. I'm gonna mix this up pretty good. Give it a good mix. That brew enhancer doesn't want to mix up that easily. We're going to start topping this up with cold water. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of me filling this up to 20, 20 liters, but I'm going to go ahead and do that here right away. And then I'll be back to show you the next thing. All right, guys, now we finished doing the filling it up with water. I filled it up to the 20 liter mark, and then I checked the temperature, and then I finished off putting in the cold water. Apologies for the TV sound in the background. It's all good. Um, so we're sitting at around 20, 20 degrees Celsius, which is uh, 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's going to be a good enough temperature to pitch our yeast, okay? So we're going to put on our frozen collar. Just like that. Take our lid off. All right. And we've got our... Yeast ready to go. Alright, now the instructions say just to sprinkle it on the top, all over the place. Oh, telephone. Sorry about that. It's tough to film in a busy household. Phones going off, TVs are everywhere, all kinds of things going on. Anyway, so we got to put our yeast in there, and I'm gonna stir it up. Now some people like to just put it on top. I like to stir it all in. So we're going to do that, get it all stirred nice, nice in there. I think this is going to be a pretty light beer, obviously, a lager. So um, it's probably going to be the lightest beer I've brewed so far. So that's well, all right. There we go. Now we're going to put our lid on. And we're going to use our clips to clip our lid and our Crozen collar together. 
There we go. Yeah. Next thing and last thing that we need to do right. before we let it ferment hey, is to take a hydrometer reading. So to do that, you need your hydrometer. All right. I'm going to just move this very carefully to the edge here. There we go. All right. You guys see that? Yeah, you can. I'm just going to... You just need enough to float your beer. So what this is going to do, this is going to give our original gravity reading. So that we can calculate when we're done how much alcohol is in here. It's supposed to be around 4.2% alcohol with this guy because we've added in that brew enhancer. Let's see what our gravity looks like. So it looks like we are starting off with 1 1.039, 1.039 roughly, yeah, that's exactly where we're at. Well, maybe 1.038, that's where we're going to go on, 1.038. You know what, I'm going to give it a try. pretty sweet at this point, but doesn't taste too bad at all. I'm looking forward to trying this one. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back to show you the bottling process with this new kit that I've got, as well as the taste test of the Cooper's Lager. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers. Looks like it's time to get another.